Good morning. It's Jada Joe. It's day two of finals week, which is why I look like this. I could probably take my hair down. Oh, yep, my elbow's soaking wet. I'm a mess, basically. I go to USC, I'm a theater major, so you might be wondering, well, what does finals look like for a theater major? It's either a performance, which is great, love performing, or it's an essay. And so I have a million essays to write. And it's not that I'm actually worried about not being able to do well on the essays, it's just a matter of sitting down and writing the essays, you know what I mean? Because I'm not the type of person that can write a little bit each day and then that will make the full essay. I have to sit down and write the full essay. It's just how my brain works. I cannot stop and go when I'm trying to write something that all flows together. Whenever I don't want to write the essay or start the essay, but I want to feel like I did something, I just, <laughs> I just write the header. Like this is what I did yesterday. That was all that I did for this essay. I just wrote the header of it and I felt like I did something, but I literally wrote zero words of the essay. I'm three pages in. I'm taking a snack break because I'm hungry. I know that there's other majors that probably have to write like 20 page essays for their finals and I'm just writing an eight page essay right now. So I know that I, you know, it's all relative, but at the same time, I don't think it's fair to be like, oh, because someone else has to write a 20 page essay, that means that my eight page essay isn't challenging. Cause it is, you know what I mean? And I hate that. Like when you bring something up to someone and then they just try to one up you, that their life is harder. It's like, this is not a competition. I was just expressing my feeling. You know what I mean? Okay, I know I'm supposed to be writing an essay, but instead I wrote a song. And for the past like 20 minutes, I've been going back and forth about this one line of the song and what the lyrics should be. And I finally got a line that I'm really happy with and it's the best feeling ever. I love writing songs so much. And that's all I wanted to say because I believe that a chapter is coming in my life where it's going to include a lot of music. I don't know why, but I just can, I'm just getting a lot of signs from the universe that I need to focus more on my music. I don't know, I'm just being pulled in this direction. So this is just, I don't know, maybe an introduction to this next chapter of my life where I'm writing more songs or something because I don't know, I don't know, I'm just throwing that there. I've been getting this very strong impulse to go back to writing songs. And the one I'm writing right now, it, I love it so much, but I might never be able to release it because it's about someone very specific that I don't know that I want them to hear this. So this might just be for me, but it feels really good to get into songwriting again. But I really need to write this essay. I will feel so good if I finish this essay right now and am able to put it aside. So I'm really, really, really gonna stop writing my song right now. For real, for real it's time and start writing my essay or finish writing my essay because I just want that feeling of satisfaction when I finish this essay, okay? We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. <laughs> we got this, okay. Can you guess? Can you guess? I finished it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely will need to edit this hardcore because I did not edit it at all going through it. Like normally when I finish a paragraph, I'll go back and edit it before I move on to the next one. No, I did not do that at all, 0%. So there is much editing to be done. However, the fact that I have eight pages of work, I feel good. So I'm done with this essay for the day. It's due in three days, so I still have time to edit it. We're chilling. I'm in such a funky mood. Maybe it's because I haven't filmed in so long that I'm like, oh my God, I'm back on YouTube. Ah, okay, bye. Okay, I'm gonna go take pictures because I don't know, I feel like it, but I wanna show you my outfit. I don't know how to show you my full outfit on this camera. Oh, I can just use my mirror. Duh. I swear my mirror does not look that dirty in real life. It looks so dirty in this. The skirt I thrifted last week. And I also thrifted these shoes and this top. So for one of my classes, for my scene study class, the final is a monologue. We have to prepare a monologue all by ourselves and then perform it. I don't like monologues. I do not like monologues. And I especially don't like this because we're preparing it by ourselves and then we're gonna perform it. That's our final. And then we don't even get to try to improve upon it. He's not gonna give us notes for us to do again because class is over, you know? So I just feel like that, I don't know. I don't like it. But if anyone has seen the new Kevin Hart Netflix series, True Story, I'm doing the opening monologue from that. I haven't actually watched the show, but I started it yesterday. I don't know why. I think I was just procrastinating <laughs> doing my work, started it, and I liked the opening monologue and I knew that I needed a monologue for class tomorrow, so I typed it out and memorized it and now I'm gonna perform it tomorrow. So if you wanna know what the monologue is, go watch 
True story. I would perform it for you, but y'all make me really nervous and I can't do it. I'm still in such a funky mood. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. Every single night I go on walks just because, I don't know, I just like to end my night with a good walk around campus. I love calling people when I'm on my walks. It's just the perfect time to talk to people, but no one ever answers my calls and I don't have anyone to call. And so I've been feeling a little lonely because I just want to talk to someone, but I don't have anyone to talk to. I'm getting anxious for my walk tonight just because I know that it's going to be a reminder of how lonely I am because when I call people, nobody answers. I decided I'm not going to call anyone tonight because I don't need the disappointment today, okay? So I'm just going to listen to music. Joshua Bassett's EP on repeat. Do you ever just like see yourself in a camera or in a mirror and you're just like, what? That's literally not what I look like. That's how I feel right now. I look insane. I'm wearing like three layers right now because I get so chilly. I'm from Arizona. I'm not used to California cold. <laughs> it's not cold, it's just chilly. I decided that during this week of finals, I'm gonna take the week off of high intensity training, cardio, weightlifting, and just do yoga because because I'm already stressed mentally, so I don't want to put more stress on my mind and body by exercising intensely, so I'm just doing yoga. I did yoga on the roof this morning, which is my absolute favorite thing to do ever, just because I love doing yoga in the sunshine, and there's no one up there, and so it's just so beautiful, and you can hear the birds chirping as you're doing warrior two, and it's just so nice, and it's also just a good reminder that it's okay to take breaks, it's good to take breaks. Your body needs rest, and when you do feel as though you're mentally putting a lot of stress on your body, that added with physical stress by the exercises can overload your body. So it is all about balance and it's it's a holistic method that we should all be taking. You know, we should be approaching our overall health holistically and not just, this is what I do physically, this is what I do mentally. It's a balance of all of it, a combination of all of it, you know? And for all the people asking on my video about trying chlorophyll, yes, I still drink chlorophyll every morning. Mm -mm, good. I'm seeing an early screening of West Side Story tonight. I'm so excited because the main girl, her name is Rachel in real life. And I've been following her since she had like 10,000 followers on Instagram or something. And she's about to blow up because of this movie and all of her dreams are coming true. And it's just so fun to watch people reach their dreams. So I'm so excited for her. Even though I don't personally know her, I feel like I do and I'm rooting for her and I'm so excited to see her kill it in this movie. So it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. I should probably clean my apartment too, but the odds of that happening, approximately negative, negative percent. This is my fit for my final jeans and converse and this little crochet top and this little headband because my hair is hella greasy. Y'all, I am still recovering from West Side Story. I think that I'm gonna spend the rest of my life trying to process that movie. It was insanely well done, but it was just so much that it was impossible to process as it was actually unfolding, do you know what I mean? That being said, everyone needs to go watch it. But just know, you were warned, it's a lot. I'm gonna go to Goodwill now. I haven't been thrifting here that much. I go thrifting all the time back home, and so I would know exactly where to go if I was at home right now to get the specific things I, I need. But here I have no idea like what are the good thrift shops, which Goodwills always have the gems, you know? Like I don't know the scene here. So it might take a while to find the things that I'm looking for. This is my outfit. I really don't know what's happening here, but I just thrifted this little like sweater thingy and I just really like it. And so I tried to put it together an outfit with it, but it's rainy and it's cold and I don't really know what this is, but it's really comfy and easy to wash walk in and so I'm just chilling, but I don't really know what this outfit is. Bro, thrifting is like a whole experience. Like I have to be in the mood to go thrift shopping because it takes a lot of time and effort. You have to go through every single hanger. I mean, you don't have to, but when I am going thrift shopping, I am dialing in, I'm zoning in, and I'm going through every single article of clothing or at least the sections that I'm looking for. I'm going through every single article of clothing. My arm was about to fall off going through every single dress. Why am I looking for dresses? Find out in next week's video. I'm not gonna show y'all what I got because it does have to do with next week's video. So you're gonna have to check it out. I'm very excited about that. But I know it's a first world problem. My arm was falling off from shopping. I understand. But I was so zoned in. Like I can't even tell you how focused I must have looked 
going through every single dress. There were so many dresses, you could not even push the hanger. Do you know what I mean? Like when you slide the hangers over so you have room, you couldn't do that. There were so many dresses. And I think that I found one that I like. I hope so. I really have to pee, so I don't know why I'm sitting here ranting to you because I really have to pee and I still haven't gone to the grocery store yet. But watch next week's video. Okay, I hate rain, but after the rain, it's so pretty, so I can appreciate the rain. So now I'm gonna walk to the grocery store instead of driving there, because it's just such a nice day, and I'm gonna listen to an Ed Milet podcast. I love Ed Milet. I actually got my dad to be on his podcast. Really funny story, but I've been wanting my dad to be on his podcast for so long, because I just think that it would be the best collab. So I reached out to Ed Milet on Instagram, being like, hey, I don't know who runs your Instagram, but you should have my dad on your Instagram. And Ed Milet answered within like five Five minutes and sent me a voice message being like I would love to have your dad on the podcast he has a really deep voice but he answered me Ed Milet and now my dad's gonna be on the podcast they already filmed and recorded it and it's coming out next Monday everyone go listen to the Ed Milet podcast with my dad on it I'm so excited my dad was like oh are you my agent now Yes, my hair looks really dark right now in the viewfinder. I'm actually thinking about dyeing my hair auburn over winter break and chopping it and cutting curtain bangs again. So whenever I feel like I'm growing out of my old self, I also want to change my appearance to match my emotional growth, if that makes sense. And this whole semester, every week it feels like I feel like I'm a different person. So I need to change something about my appearance to match that, you know what I mean? Okay, see you on the flip side. Lazy girl finals. Grocery haul! First on the list, we have sweet peas. I don't think I ever ate peas in my life until like a month ago. That might not be true. I don't know. But I rediscovered sweet peas approximately a month ago because I was just looking for new sources of vegan protein. I really like them. I could literally eat them out of this can, but I try to put a little more effort into my snacks. But. It's fine. Next up, cannelli beans. These are my favorite ever. As a vegan, I eat a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of beans. I love beans. I literally put these in a bowl and I add some spices to them and then I eat them. It's like literally that's a snack that I have or I'll add it to my meal or something. Like I love, I eat beans every single day and these are my favorite kind of beans. Maybe my standards are just so low because I'm allergic to so many foods that literally beans with spices on them makes me excited, but they do. Okay, let me be. I'm a college gal on a budget, okay? Then, of course, almond butter slash peanut butter. Either one is fine. The only reason I got a half jar instead of a full jar is because I leave in five days, but this will be gone in five days, so a must. And then I got some bananas for my morning smoothies, and I got some carrots because I've been obsessed with carrots recently. I don't know why. That's all I got. I hope you know that I still care about you dearly. I gotta lock the door and throw away the key. Guys, what is it with me and this vlog? I'm just in such a funky mood. I turn the camera on and I'm just like, hey, I don't know what's happening. Okay, I'm taking practically every single thing that I got at the thrift store back because nothing fits me the way that I thought it would. But look at these jeans that I found. They fit me perfectly. I swear every single pair of jeans that I own are from Goodwill. Every single one of them. And also 90% of them are men's jeans because a lot of men's clothes just fit me better because of the build of my body just being more muscular. Do you want to be in my vlog? Oh, this is Zoe. She, she made a whole video about feet.